everyone I am back again today to do a nice project and the project that I am going to do is clay uh, pottery portrait we call it clay portrait it's very easy not so hard you just need some few materials and simple steps like I'm teaching you can do it so it's very easy it's not so hard if you see it's very easy this one belongs to one of my students and this is kind of old picture of mine so yeah you can do your own portrait it's so fun and it's very nice to do you just need air dry clay for starting so I am buying these ones and using air dry clay it's very easy and you can find from any supermarkets I'm pretty sure so I'm using this one and then you need your own picture print out today I'm trying to use my own picture so because I couldn't find of my students pictures and so I'm going to use my own picture just print out your face area this part only picture one of those and you will need one toothpick or some kind of like a pin like this way it's very easy and of course the roller the, then you need a mat to keep the clay and a sharp object like this way if you don't have a cutter always you can use a ruler it's totally fine you want to clean it and use it is totally fine so make your clay roll it make it flat and remember thickness is supposed to be have, uh, have if not your clay can be cracked once it get dry it can be cracked so it's better you have a little bit thickness one it so I have this one first I will just measure the area it's not still fine so make it little bit big like this way and yep that will be enough so keep a glass of cup of water near you so you can remove the fingerprint so you can like make it softer with little bit water don't add a lot of water just dip the fingers on the water and just move around the fingers so it will be all the cracking marks all like not joint parts it's all got getting together and it will be smooth that's important so this amount so I'm going to cut the clay the extra part like a square to come okay so what I'm going to do is just keep the clay on a side for a second now the picture that you always have you took for yourself for example I took my own picture you have to highlight the lines of the picture just take this one like this way and draw around the face mark the mouth eyes nose little bit eyebrows that's it and the hair you can just draw it line because we don't do details we just mark in the edge that's it so what once you do that you can just take the clay keep your paper on the clay and little bit down just use the pencil and go around it little bit press hard so it will be pressing to the clay like this way I'm just going around it so So once you remove this, it should be a pencil line should be showing there. 
So of course the paper will damage, you can throw it away. So now the time for you to use the toothpick and go over a little bit much more deeper. If you see, I'm just going much more deeper. See, pencil line. Like this way. And the hair, you can randomly make some lines if you like. If you have paper pieces on the clay, it's total fine. You can leave it. Once it gets dry, you will wash it, then it will be clean it up. So your paper should be look like this way now. Sorry, your clay. And the circle of your eye like this way so once it's done you have to just leave it to dry for 24 hours definitely so once your 24 hours should be done it's supposed to look like this way this is done with uh, clay I already did it before once you finish it you just need to use a sponge and add a little bit black color paint to it and wipe it all the way so once you wipe it, it should be look like this way because the black color should go inside the lines. That's why. So now you can do is use acrylic paint and color the way you like. You don't need to burn or anything. Remember that part. So painting, do the way you like. So I will color the hair, of course, a little bit purple color. So, and the coloring when you're doing don't go out from the lines just stay in the line and then color once your color is done there's a small technique you have to follow you have to apply black color on the deep lines This is a good chance for you to explore colors and you just do whatever the colors that you like. You don't need to focus on anything. Like this way. You just color all the colors the way you like. And the face, eyes, everything you should apply black color. And the important thing you have to do is you have to take a little bit dark black color and go over the deep lines this you know the lines that we did with the knife toothbrick 
the, those ones you have to color with black color. Just use a small brush. You can go away it and color like this way. So once your painting is done, you can do the black color lines with the small brush with pointed. So the black color line should go over the pencils. Uh, pick, you use toothpick or point that you cut. All these parts should be black color. And background colors and the face, anything, just enjoy with the colors that you like. So as I hope you guys remember the procedure. You can use the clay, mold it and make it flat. Then you keep your own picture, anything, your friend's picture, anyone, you can keep it and trace on the pencil lines, go around it. Don't press hard too much. Once the clay is, you remove the picture, the mark will be available. So then you can do with the toothpick or something like this way. Then you can go over it. It will be much more easy for you. Once it gets dry, you can leave it for like 24 hours then only you will start to do the painting because it should be 100% dry don't do any painting over wet ones it will be cracked so once the painting is done you can varnish it and of course keep it with in your shelf it will be much more nice so you see it will be much more pretty it's very simple and easy i hope you can use the materials that i told you and thank you for watching me we'll see you tomorrow with a new project